If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? And why would you choose that power? Um, if I had a superpower, it would probably be whenever somebody's in trouble, no matter what situation, I, would, I could help them and make everything okay. When I'm up here at the camp, it reminds me of everything that's good and generous about this country. Sometimes I'll sneak into the dining hall and the energy is so surprising coming from these kids who some of them are in the hospital a good part of the year. Where does it come from? Well, I don't ask magicians about their secrets and I don't ask here either, but there is something magical about this place. It's a different kind of healing. I have one of the campers come up to me and say, this place, to come back here, this is what I live for. Pretty powerful stuff. One of the things camp gave Aaron was to remember the kind of guy he was. He's always loving to be on stage. He's always loving to be the center of attention. He'd forgotten that. Camp has been amazing. Last year was only my first year here ever. And I've got to admit, these have been the best two weeks of my life. Six days ago, I told you that when we came back in here for awards night, that I would check in with folks to see how the session went. I have met two people with the illness that I have. When we were camping, we were sharing all of our stories about going to the hospital and all the weird stuff that's happened to us. We had pretty good laughs about that. When we were going through it, it's like, oh man, I just can't get through this, but sitting here now, it's like, man, I did it. Did anybody in here make a friend during the time they were at camp? Award ceremony is one of the most special nights of the camp. It's a chance for us to celebrate everything that they've done over the session. And they just take in all this amazing applause. And you can just see them build up and take it all in. Every single kid in the, in the room will be called up because every kid uh, has, has gone through this hero's journey. I don't know that I would have had the strength and confidence to make it through high school, through college to have as many friends as I do, live every day to the fullest. It's, I mean, it's endless. In a way, the hole in the wall experience begins again when the camp week ends. Nice. Through year-round outreach programs in hospitals, reunions, sibling sessions, and family weekends. If you don't leave, you can't come back. And um, one way or another, you know, we come back. And you're always a gang member once you touch it. I think it's important to have camps like this all over the world because it shouldn't just be here that kids can be happy. It needs to be all over the world. Aaron's returned to school with his self-confidence restored. Austin's still in therapy twice a week, but he now has memories of camp to keep him going. I got three both eyes. Austin's going to go back to school talking about camp for a very long time. I remember the evening that, um, my first evening home after camp, I overheard my mother on the phone and she was talking with my grandmother and I could hear her crying and she just kept saying over and over again, I don't know what they did to my child, but they gave me my child back. Seven days ago, we started our journeys, and right now we're on the outside of a circle, guys. But you know what? That's not what I saw happen this week. So I need everybody to do, because we need to be on the inside of this circle together as a unit. It's very, very slowly and carefully. Raise your hands up and over. You folks are very much the ambassadors of this place, okay? Take hand. Take that safety, respect, and love. Take those connections. Take that communication. Take that teamwork. And put it in your pockets, put it in your suitcases, put it in your hearts, and go back to the world and spread it. 
And the most amazing part is that it happens absolutely free of charge. It's all made possible through the generosity of people like you. Thank you.